In a few days from now, P. Chidambaram will present the union budget for 2013. In the build-up, he's been speaking about taxing the rich even further. But everyone watching this broadcast will legitimately ask, why should we pay more taxes when our money is being squandered in this fashion? I want you to take a quick look at the amount of money that is spent on the Mandrake. This is the scheme uh, that played a very important role in helping the UPA come back to power. It started in 2008-2009 when of the total social sector spend in the country, 19% uh, which is about 16,000 crore rupees was allocated for Mandrega. Let's look at 2009-2010 when almost 44% of the total money that was spent in India on the social sector uh, which is 39,100 crore rupees was spent on Mandrega. Uh, then in 2012-2013 it's 19% 33,000 crore rupees spent. This year now uh, it is being said that in, in this budget as well uh, Mr. Chidambaram would make new allocations for spending on social sector. The question that needs to be asked and that's the center stage uh, face off for tonight. Why is there no accountability? Why, this is the flagship scheme, the pet project for Mrs. Gandhi. Why is it uh, that this money is not being spent properly? I want to go across to my guests. I want to begin by introducing senior leader of the Congress party, Mr. Satriva Chaturvedi. Thank you very much. Paranjoy Guha Thakurta tracks the manner in which this money is being spent very closely. Uh, joining us also is Piyush Goel from the BJP. Nikhil De, social activist, co-convener of the NCPRI, has done a lot of social audit on the ground to see whether the money is being spent wisely or not. And also Devinder Sharma, India's leading agriculture policy analyst. I want to ask Mr. Chaturvedi first. We've seen the manner in which, sir, thousands of rupees, lakhs of rupees of taxpayer money is being squandered. Everyone watching will want to know why is it that my money is being wasted in this fashion, sir? It's very obvious that this question must arise and somebody will have to answer this question. But who? Who should answer this yes. question? You know that according to the constitution there are areas which fall within the jurisdiction of state governments exclusively. There are areas, there are subjects which fall within the jurisdiction of government of India. Now, rural development happens to be one of the areas which exclusively falls within the jurisdiction of the state. So, the scheme, the central scheme is provided with funds to the state government. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, the administration and supervision of implementing these schemes is exclusively the jurisdiction of the state governments. Even if the government of India wants to intervene, it cannot because of constitutional provisions. And thereafter, the tight, the hands are tied uh, when, when, when it comes to uh, uh, having a control over how this money is being spent. All that the government of India can do, Rahul, is it can write to the states and I know in my personal knowledge, number of cases which fell and the number of complaints that came to government of India through various representatives of public, uh, MPs and so on, they have been investigated. They have been asked to be taken action, stern action against the culprits. But unfortunately what is happening is the state governments for one reason or the other aren't acting as expected. You're saying state governments are not acting in the two states that we've profiled. There is Bihar and there is Madhya Pradesh, both run uh, by the BJP, by the NDA. I want to go across to Piyush Goel. Uh, the Congress making the case at the start of this program that yes, the center realizes that there are problems. We've been constantly telling the states. It's the states which are refusing to implement the money, implement the scheme properly, which is why taxpayer money is going waste and therefore uh, the UPA should not be blamed. Now, for I'll just add one word. Yes. Because of this fact that came to the knowledge of the government of India, there was a conference held in Delhi with the rural development ministers of various states focused on this issue that the money that is being sent from government of India to the states for implementing various schemes isn't being implemented properly. Okay. There are there are areas where where the scheme seems to be it seems to have been hijacked altogether. Okay. I want Piyush Goel to respond on behalf of the BJP rural states. Piyush. Rahul, I must compliment you for having brought this very important issue to the fore. It's an issue very dear to me. And at least on three occasions, on the floor of the House, I have raised very similar complaints about 
A, the basic structure of Manrega and B, the way it has been implemented. I would like to join issue with my very senior and esteemed colleague, Satyavadji. It's very easy to say the central government is not responsible, but the states are. And let me inform you, all states are at the same dock for this, whether it's NDA, BJP ruled or Congress ruled. I'm surprised that Rahul, you have chosen to selectively look at two states. No, I must also, sure we'll find a legitimate question, I must state to our viewers uh, that this is a massive investigation that we are undertaking. The two states where the investigation got completed are Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. We've also gone to Maharashtra. We've also gone to Andhra Pradesh, which are Congress ruled states. The results aren't very different over there. This is the first part of the investigation which we are putting That's out. Right. Also because there is a big Mandrega CAG report which is expected in the budget session. We wanted to build the premise. Uh, for that CAG report. That CAG report is going to come out. So our investigation links with what CAG has found. That said, it doesn't take away from the fact that on the ground we saw this road which is just about two feet long and Shivra Chauhan is sending these big letters to villagers saying I've built tube wells, I've got ponds, I've got big roads. None of them exist on paper. You can't blame the other states where we haven't got, we'll get there separately. That's a different story, Piyush. Rahul, I am just explaining why I said it. It was because in the beginning you said both are NDA rule states. I wanted to tell you the basic scheme itself is flawed because of which you will find it across all states. What uh, Satyavad is saying is the center is not responsible. I can jolly well say the states are not responsible because <laughs> the basic structure. You have created a scheme which is basically handing out doles. The kind of works that you have stipulated in that are completely humbug. The way you have created the superstructure. I have the structure with me. I hope you would go through that. If your camera can pan on the structure, there are at least 10 different bodies involved in running the scheme. Right from the central government to the state government to the panchayat to the block administration. This whole scheme has been created with a flaw. When we discuss it on television channels, the Congress representatives comes up with saying, okay, so does the BJP oppose Manrega? If you oppose Manrega, why don't your states refuse to implement it? It doesn't work like this. We are in a political establishment where if the center sends funds for a particular scheme, it is going to go down each level to the block level and going to get misused. I have time and again been saying the Manrega scheme should be dovetailed with actual infrastructure creation we should dovetail it, it with the viability gap schemes. Okay. The no, because government. this is going down this a predictable route of argument. I want to bring in Devendra Sharma first because the states, the center says the states are to blame, states say we are not to blame. Everyone watching this broadcast, uh, Devendra Sharma says it's my money, it's taxpayer money. I might have to shell out more taxes and here exactly, they're blaming each Rahul, other. Rahul. No, you've had your say. I want to bring in Devendra Sharma. Rahul, I'm coming back to you. I'm not blaming each other. No, you are. You said the centers to blame. It's a badly I'm created scheme. The center yes. says it's the states which are not implementing properly. I want Devendra Sharma stake. Well, I think this is not the first time, Rahul, that we have seen the center blaming the states, the states blaming the center, the Congress blaming BJP, BJP blaming Congress. You know, that's the best way to, way, way to uh, you know, uh, get an apology that we are not responsible. But there are two kinds of corruption that I want to bring here. One is the kind of corruption that you see that you have exposed a remarkable job done by you, first of all. Second one is the intellectual corruption. You know, if you read the newspapers, the, you know, some of the economic newspapers have even said that this has brought in so much of money in the rural hands that people, the poor people are now investing in mutual funds. Now, I don't know where exactly is, is, is that kind of argument being built. So I find there are two kinds of corruption. You know, there are hardly or barely some exceptions which are trying to say, no, no, it is not running well. Even the architects of the Narega program had actually gone in self-denial for many years. They were refusing to accept there was corruption in, in the system till a gentleman called Parshuram Ray of the Center for Food Security began exposing it. He exposed this scandal in Bihar. He exposed this scandal in Odisha. He exposed this scandal in Madhya Pradesh. And he has, ha, has a case in the PIL. Uh, the architects were refusing to accept that there is a, there is a you know, corruption happening at that level. I think, I think it, 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 it's, it's a sad reflection on the state of corruption that exists today. Everything, whether it's choppers, right to the right to the kuwa or the well in the village, uh, there's a corruption. And I think this is a system. When we say 2009 was the year of uh, when we won the ruling part, UPA won because of Manrega, I think it was not because the poor got, the, the poor people who were voting got the money so that they could make use of it. Okay. It was the, it was the, 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 the various channels 
of, of the political system that benefited. And I think they were the one, ones who were responsible for that victory. You know, Nik Nikhil Day that travels across means. the country, does social audits on the ground, has field experience in the manner in which Narega money is being spent. We're seeing this argument, center saying states not spending the money wisely, states saying the scheme itself is flawed. Where does the reality lie? Because Rahul, a lot of taxpayer Rahul, money is going Rahul, waste. Rahul, yes, Rahul, what I have said. What I have said does not need any yeah, investigation. I, I think you uh, please pick up the act. Actually the you please pick up the is act. It is on paper. Okay. It is on black and white as to how the money will be spent, how it will be distributed, who will look after uh, the the supervision part of it, who will administer these that schemes. The it's it's on black okay, and white. I want to hear from the Nikhil Day. I want to hear from Nikhil Day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are saying you are stating if facts. If even yeah, a right. word of what I have said is wrong. Please penalize okay. me. Nikhil Day, where does the reality lie? Ra yeah, Rahul, the unfortunate thing is to put this within a center state paradigm. And that's the problem when you get Congress and BJP talking to each other. The fact is that we have been looking at programs for the poor and social sector programs. We've been looking at issues of corruption for years. It is true that there is corruption in NREJ, but that's not a complete picture. It's also true that there are many, many good works. And what's most important is that it is, has the potential to be a lifeline for the poor. Where it runs well, it really helps the poorest. It gives them strength and bargaining power. And it, we have seen it's allowed people to come out of bonded labor and come out of begging and come out of situations of destitution. So it is a lifeline, but that's why it's even more tragic if corruption takes place. And it is true that corruption is taking place all over. The question is, is there accountability? Is action being taken quick and fast on that corruption? And there is, in that sense, NREG has much more transparency. People are raising their voices against corruption much more, but they are not getting buy-in from the administration. The one state that we have seen in Andhra Pradesh where they have institutionalized social audits, I just Rahul want to give you some figures which are amazing yes. and I think you should look at those. That, that in the state of Andhra Pradesh where social audit is part of the government structure, they have found 144 crores of corruption. They have, re they have recovered 21 crores of money which is not recovered even by the CBI in any of our big cases of corruption. They have found 44,500 cases they have lodged. They have suspended 1,000 people. They have removed 4,781 people and they have punished some 11,000 people. Now the point is, it's even now Andhra Pradesh has corruption, but at least there is immediate action on that corruption. And the, the CAG has said that social audit like Andhra Pradesh should be put in right across the country. They've made rules, but that's not being done. Again, there is corruption in choppers, there's corruption in 2G, there's corruption in coal. Let us not make NREGA the situation where we say that because of its corruption, dump this program. We are not dumping choppers. No, no, it's too politically useful 2G. for the we ruling not... dispensation. So, so... It gave them a second term in power. I don't think they're looking at uh, dumping the scheme. I want to bring Paranjoy in because the question is no, not they about are dumping not, they are the not scheme. Rahul. The question is that it's my Rahul. money that's going Rahul. waste, Why not being spent properly, Paranjoy. Rahul. Absolutely, you absolutely. absolutely right. Rahul. So I think it's great that like what we would like to see is what happens or what you have shown why, when you have exposed it. The problem in our social audits across the country is that we expose it and the government does not take action, whether it's one state government or the other. Even in Rajasthan, over and over again, we've been exposing and social audits have been opposed by the political and bureaucratic class. Now, if money is, is being one spent, way it has to be audited by the people where okay. it's supposed to be spent. Okay. Three points. You know, I agree. Exactly, exactly. I, I agree and they're not what, doing it. Okay. I, 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 I Nikhil, you made your point. I yeah. want to bring Panjoy. I, I agree with what Nikhil says. Let's not throw out the scheme just because there's corruption. This is, after all, no ordinary scheme. It is the world's biggest social security scheme. The Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Empowerment Guarantee Program. Now, in a scheme like this, there's bound to be corruption. What is very important is to understand why it's happening. And I think this transcends between center and states, between BJP and Congress. It has got a lot to do with the way governance is happening or not happening in our country. So I think it's very, very important to understand this. Let us not throw out the baby with the bathwater. Having said that, let's look at specifics. An earlier report of the Controller and Auditor General of India pointed out 
fraud, fraudulent job cards, money not going. I mean, you have to improve the infrastructure. Let's and and I'm sure that the the next uh, report of the controller and auditor, auditor general will reinforce these points. Your channel broke the whole story of how the farm loan waiver scheme had the intended beneficiaries had not got the benefit. I'm glad that your channel is at least focusing on this. Oh, we must because yeah, it's it our is, money. It is very very important. Now the issue is what are these? One is corruption, wrong people getting the benefit. The first is absence of bank accounts. You're talking about the Aadhaar scheme where a very, very substantial section of the rural population don't have access to bank accounts. Secondly, what is the kind of assets you're creating? What's the use in building a kacha road gets washed away in one monsoon? So, what is the quality of the assets? Second is the accountability of the people who are responsible for creation of those assets. You know, I think that is where we have to look at it in a holistic manner. This is a problem of the absence of governance and what your channel is showing is something that's happening on the ground and I think it's important and, and I don't think no. this is a political issue firstly I, I don't think it's an issue between the center and the states I think that the issue which concerns everybody in this country because as you rightly pointed out it is the taxpayers money and mind you only 3% of India's population pay income tax but everybody pays indirect taxes. We pay excise duties. We pay, you know, indirectly we pay customs duties. So at the end of the day, it's the money that belongs to the arm army, which is getting wasted because you haven't put in, in place the systems of checks and balances. And more importantly, you are not punishing those who you find responsible True. for misappropriation. No, but you're making the case that the scheme is not a waste. Rahul I want to quote Rahul Mr. Rahul Chaturvedi, Rahul what the rural development minister Jairam Ramesh said. You know, he's trashing his own scheme. He says, how much work will you do? How many ditches will you dig? How many ponds will you rebuild? How much forestation will you do? There has to be a limit. I do not accept that you dig a ditch, take out soil, call it employment. You put the soil back into the ditch. The fact is the government's own minister what is on record saying that the money is not being spent. Why is it going into unproductive expenses, Mr. Chaturvedi? Well, now I am not going to comment on what others have said. No, but you uh, must. It's now, a senior now, minister now, in the government. If, if a minister... If a minister says this, he has to take a decision whether he agrees with the government scheme or not. If he doesn't agree, then better quit rather than make comments like this. One has to be responsible. I entirely agree with what Pranjoy said just now. Yes, there is corruption. There are irregularities. Yes, there is something wrong with the system also somewhere. Yes. But I at the same time do not agree that checks and balances have not been put. If you study the, the, the act, the act itself, you will find there has been a deliberate attempt to see and ensure that checks and balances are So in you place. keep referring but to the act, we are no, reporting I'm, from the ground. Just, just On the I'm, ground, it's I'm very coming, clear that these checks and balances you are talking about Rahul, are not working. Rahul, sir. Uh, just now, uh, uh, Andhra's story was being referred. It shows one thing. There are states which are taking care of these things. Situation in those states is not as bad or as... I'm not going into Congress and BJP states. No, no, I'm not. I am just saying one thing. There would be the, some of the Congress states where the situation would be as bad as, as, as in Madhya Pradesh or as, as in Bihar. I mean, I don't uh, I, I say that it, this, will, this will not be the case. Why well, would we but, a very brief but, intervention? But factually, what is happening is those who are responsible for administering these schemes will have to take an active role. Government of India, even if it wants to do it, it cannot. You know how in, on, on the issue of Lokpal, how these states fought? That no, they, you cannot, government of India cannot uh, enact uh, the Lokayu part of the bill. No. Yes, but I, want to, I, I want to make a brief intervention. You know, the same people who were bitterly opposed to the National Rural Employment Guarantee Program, including individuals who are very close to the Prime Minister, including people who were very close to the Deputy Chairman of the Planning Commission, they all said you're going to throw good money after bad. But you, you are doing that. One minute. The same people are today started singing a different tune <laughs> after 2009 election results. No, because it won their votes. 2013 or 2014 may tell a different story. Because it's one thing. To have a scheme, it's another thing to not be able to implement that scheme properly. I think the problem is one of corruption and governance. And once again, Rahul, I am not questioning the need for a scheme like this. I'm questioning the manner in which the scheme is being implemented or not being implemented. I, I think that is the Piyush Goel, I have figures over here from the Delhi-based Center for Environment and Food Security. They've conducted a performance audit of the scheme in Bihar. 
it says that 73 percent of the 8189 crore rupees spent in 38 districts of bihar between 2006 to 2011 have been embezzled by implementing authorities the amount that's been siphoned off is 6000 crore rupees 73 percent of the money that was spent somebody must be held accountable for this Rahul, exactly what I am saying. You, you are just. Everybody seems to agree that the scheme is good. No, so why is and it? Should be let's let's look at what well. we put I'm out in Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. If in Bihar, seventy-three percent has been wasted. No, I am sorry. Uh, given the structure, that's a large Rahul, ideological debate about the, the structure. Country. What about seventy-three percent of the money not going to the people for whom it's meant in Bihar? What do you have to say about the Bihar government? I, I don't know what those figures are, who has prepared them, what, what is the oh, This is the Centre for Environment and Food Security. For CAG report. But, but hang on Rahul, you have to, you have to let me finish, otherwise don't call us for a debate if you don't want to let us finish. I am saying this scheme has basically got to change. It has to become an infrastructure creating scheme. The government should get out of operating the scheme on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> they need to convert this into when an actual viability there, gap scheme. Like where they have auctioned or tender infrastructure projects. You are deflecting the, I think you are deflecting the argument. You are going off on a tangent. You are saying that the structure of blue needs to be reworked. That's not the point I am asking you. I am saying there, certain no. money is being given to you. Some 8,000 crores have been given to you. 73% hasn't gone to the right people. We are seeing a plethora of cases where and people are not living in villages. That you are saying. I don't know if that report no, is correct It also or no. tallies with it's our ground report. report. It tallies Let's with our ground report. People, who are, dead are, people who are dead are shown to be getting money. People who are no longer living in the villages have moved to the cities so exactly are shown to be beneficiaries. That is why, why is, it that that's being, why is, that, why is that happening under Nitish Kumar's regime? You must answer those questions, Piyush. It is happening under all regimes all across the That's country because the scheme has How can that be a justification, Nobody is held accountable. As you said, there is no audit. Unless you get government out of the scheme, it's not going to be implemented properly anywhere in the country. No, no, you can keep talking about Bihar. I can keep is, talking about Maharashtra. I have seen it being operated in Maharashtra. In, in, Our standing in committee saw it in I the mean, north. The situation it is a scheme. You have the government out of the scheme. And who's going, going, to, who's going to, supervise to make it create an actual infrastructure creation scheme? What this is what you will find all no, across. I'm sorry, the whether infrastructure is created or not, whether yeah. there's government or not, the money that is going must be spent wisely. Nikhil Day has his hand up. He wants to rebut what you're saying, yeah. Piyush. Nikhil. Which is why I'm saying the government. Yeah, I think I think it's a completely complete different debate about what kind of scheme it should it be. Yes, absolutely. Piyush I is going off on a tangent. Yes, Nikhil, go on. Can I? I, no, yeah, I think it's a completely different debate. That debate remains on another day. Today there yes, are cases of corruption you, that have been brought forward. <laughs> yes. Those cases of corruption must be squarely faced. The question we are asking today is what action you are taking? Why is this corruption taking place? Can that be prevented? Can we see that the money reaches where it should? In the cases of money for the poor, there is no excuse, no excuse for it not reaching where it does because it affects the life of a person and a livelihood of a person and therefore we need to see and to convert NREG in a way to fight corruption bring in complete transparency it has so everything exactly on websites poor people can't that's read exactly websites what that's painted the on the walls we should have social audits and public audits so that people can get involved in that and uh, like the CAG has said actually if we bring those audits social audits in across the country even the central government can get it done so I don't agree with Mr. Chaturvedi, that the central government can't get it done. And we take action. If governments start taking action, even on your report, what you've shown today, if they start putting people in jail where they belong, if they've stolen people money from the people, then there will be a huge Absolutely. action uh, effect right across the country. And we will see the scheme improving. Devendra Sharma, if people have stolen taxpayer money, if villagers who are shown to have benefited haven't benefited, then the culprits must go to jail. That's the best way of ensuring implementation, Devendra. Well, there is no denying what you are saying, Rahul, that, that, that the culprits must go to jail. But the bigger factor, bigger, if I, but the bigger, yes, Devendra, but the bigger call. problem here is that this was a badly conceived program. This was a badly conceived scheme. 
and the architects must take responsibility that they knew that or they didn't know that the implementation is going to be bad. We always blame poor implementation, but I have always said it is the it is the bad planning or the bad architecture of the of the scheme which is responsible primarily. Having said that, you know, we are talking of one uh, kind of damage done that is corruption. But what about the damage done to agriculture? There is no labor available now in agriculture, and I think that's a problem which farmers across the country are facing. Correct. And yet the Ministry of Rural Development is not willing to accept it. So another problem has been created by this Manrega. I'm not saying throw the baby out, but I'm saying you know those who conceive the program did not conceive it properly, and the nation is paying the price of it. Nikhil, is it not a fact that social audit and public audit is being opposed by governments? that they don't want this order to take place absolutely absolutely it is a fact and in fact in rajasthan where social audits and public audits were were born the political and administrative class opposed it blocked roads went on dharnas beat up people what was the objection why were they objecting it's perfectly the reasonable for an order to take place what was the problem with gelot's government the problem was that the political class from sarpanches to gram sevaks to all the way up to mlas and mps were blocking roads saying no social audit and we asked why not because the people's money how it was being spent was being exposed people were asking questions people were taking the political class to task and saying why are you not doing what you should be doing they were not but i have one point on what devender sharma says if agriculture if labor is not available for agriculture because wages are higher because nrega actually it is showing that the scheme is working to that extent that it's giving them some bargaining power so this idea about it being a flawed design needs to be debated much further but i completely agree that the way forward what you have shown is a kind of a public audit we need thousands millions of these in every village no but why can't it happen mr chaturvedi i want to understand people. why is the congress government in rajasthan and nikhil was on the ground he was telling me before we did the show uh, that the gehlot government wouldn't allow a public order to take i would i would inform and please confirm nikhil find out if madhya pradesh has the social audit provision or not despite that no madhya audit. pradesh does not it either. does it does it does please find out please find out i come from madhya pradesh therefore i know no no it has it has all on paper all the rural all the, all the rural development schemes will be social audited by the gram sabha that is the provision and there is a whole laid down detail of madhya pradesh i'm bursting right. in laughter because the chief minister sent these letters to Real every single so village where he says i've dug this well see, for you i've built this pond i've made this road none of that's there i'll ask my producer you, to you, call you, up the pictures you, from madhya pradesh you, on our screen right now you, look at those pictures they don't exist he's sending you, these letters with shivraj singh chauhan's picture on it see rahul and how it's keep showing this but i'm again contesting unless the scheme itself gets out of government sign and it no, that's no explanation for the money being squandered that's no explanation for the money being squandered i want to listen to satyav chaturvedi because he brought up the issue of madhya pradesh sir rahul madhya pradesh has the provision for social audit despite that social audit situation is this what you are showing here now the fact of the matter is that it is the intent of the government and the administration the quality of administration that makes all the difference uh, BJP has been always uh, flag bearer okay, of the that, that, that good government. Good, good government. Well. Good that government. That stone over there, which you saw, yeah, 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 is yeah, supposed yeah. to be a well. This yeah. is supposed to be a pond. Thousands of crores have been spent. Just look at these pictures; they tell their own story. Rahul, this absolutely. Is, Rahul, this is the story of this country. This is not new. The point is what Mr. Goel is claiming that get the government out and suddenly everything will work. No, it won't work. <laughs> Every social security scheme strange. across the world has to be implemented properly by. government authority the issue is how do you implement this better yes i'm sure the design of the scheme can be improved but i think as important as improving the design of the scheme i think it's equally important perhaps more important to ensure that the scheme is properly implemented everybody says why is there no transparency why do our netas and babus not one social audit because social audit will make sure that, that they are talking about the money they can't talk the money that's why they don't why want social audit don't want as simple it. as that because then there corruption will be exposed no uh, and secondly why are you not making examples of people who are stealing the people's money if you make examples of even a few people no, and is claiming credit for it shivraj singh chauhan and we showed those letters in the story that we ran piyush i sent these letters he sent them to every single village saying i built ponds for you i have dug wells for you i have made these roads none of that happened on the ground the people who are dead who are shown as beneficiaries their ghost job cards 
for people who don't even live in those villages. So Rahul fully appreciated and I am sure Mr. Shiraj Chauhan or his government will investigate the story that you have put out and I hope the culprits are quickly booked. But I am again repeating Rahul that this scheme basically the way it has eight levels of authorities you are going to find this problem repeat itself. The 2007 CAG report had pointed out these flaws. Look at that in 2013. In six years we have not been able to sort it out. In my opinion we can create at least a lakh and a half crores of infrastructure every year. If only we would dovetail this with VGF scheme, we would tender or auction out projects, let the private sector set up actually roads and highways and uh, ports and large projects oh which would create good I mean, what infrastructure. Is he, is he, and is he, is he, that, is he wanting to say it? No there is no corruption in the private sector. Of 30, Don't you know Everywhere. what happened to NGOs? There is so much more that can How the NGOs that. have worked and how, how corruption cases have been exposed? I mean, so, I mean, to, to suggest that government my friend, should be moved my from friend, it. I mean, I have no That's a different debate. That's, that's, that's not what I'm saying. That's a different debate. My question tonight is, when does the government should... Is it because of the government's presence that the government is taking place? You can keep debating Rahul's about this. Rahul, you're talking about time. 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 Rahul, the issue is one of absence of governance, absence Absolutely. of accountability, absence of transparency, as a result of which you see the, the you know corruption and the people who should be getting the, the beneficiaries, they are not getting it. It's being pocketed by, by a few netas they, uh, and the babus and their cronies, whether they be thekadars or whoever they are. So I think it's it's an issue of a bigger issue of the okay. absence of accountability. It's an issue, issue of bad governance. Be it a Congress state, be it uh, any other state, be it a BJP state, wherever these I'm schemes are being thrown, it is a very good. No, but what is the solution that you can take of? Bad government. Latitude is not true. So India demands that the, the money that is being spent, taxpayer money is spent wisely. Lamram is talking about a uh, tax on the rich. Anyone watching this broadcast will unless say, we are able to pay unless the quality of the money must be spent properly. Rahul, unless the quality of governance improves, Rahul. none of these schemes are so being well, I want to see what, what the governments of Bihar and Madhya Pradesh have to say about this. Because to say that you know, all is hunky dory. Shivraj Singh Chauhan thinks he's a fabulous administrator. Nitish Kumar thinks he's doing a great job. Under their regime, money is being squandered. I want to see what the state governments say and whether corrective measures will be taken. And I just can't understand why politicians are opposing a social and public audit. Nikhil Day is absolutely correct. If people audit whether the money is being spent properly, if the culprits go to jail, only then will Netas get the message that taxpayer money cannot be stolen. It might have won UPA a second term in power, but the scheme needs to be implemented properly. Otherwise, taxpayers will say their money is going down the drain quite literally. Satyavra Chaturvedi, Paranjoy Gua Thakurta, Devinder Sharma, Piyush Goel and Nikhil Day for joining us on the Center Stage Face Off tonight. Thank you very much. I'm glad we've been able to put this story on Center Stage. It needs to be talked about just as India gets set uh, for Budget 2013. The money that is being allocated needs to be spent. The public exchequer needs to know that they are being watched.